uh, to the throne since he was three years old. Prince Charles just became Great Britain's new monarch at the age of 73. It was the beginning of a life preparing for his role as future king, largely spent in his mother's shadow. After private schooling, Charles became the first ever heir to the throne to get a bachelor's degree after graduating from Cambridge in 1970. And at 20 years old, Charles was invested as the 21st Prince of Wales, the title given to male heirs of the British throne. I, Charles, Prince of Wales, do become your liege man of life and limb and of earthly worship. And faith and truth I will bear unto thee. Charles then served in the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. In 1981, the engagement of the Prince of Wales and 19-year-old Lady Diana Spencer was announced, propelling the couple into a media frenzy. Just delighted and, and happy. And I, I, I'm amazed that she's uh, been brave enough to take me on. <laughs> and I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. <laughs> A few months later, their wedding was watched by 750 million viewers worldwide, marking a high point in popularity for the royal family. The Prince and Princess of Wales had two sons, Prince William, second in line to the throne, and Prince Harry. Their marriage became increasingly strained amid years of intense scrutiny and rumours of infidelity on both sides splashed in the front pages. It is announced from Buckingham Palace that, with regret, the Prince and Princess of Wales have decided to separate. In 1993, Charles's affair with longtime friend and former girlfriend Camilla Parker Bowles became public, when the transcript of an intimate phone call in 1989 between the pair was leaked. The Prince admitted to adultery in a documentary. In 1997, a year after their divorce was finalised, Diana, a beloved figure for the British public and beyond, was killed in a car crash in Paris. Charles and the Queen initially seemed out of step with the outpouring of national grief, and the royal family's popularity plummeted as a result. Two years later, Charles and Camilla made their first appearance as a couple, but public opinion of the pair was mixed. They married in 2005, sparking years of fierce debate over whether Camilla would one day be Queen. Speculation which only ended when Queen Elizabeth stated her wish for Camilla to be Queen Consort when Charles became King. Involved in more than 400 charities, the Prince of Wales is known for his philanthropic work, which has sometimes come under the spotlight for controversial donations. We have come together as father and son to lend our voices to the growing global effort to combat the illegal wildlife trade. He's also been one of the more outspoken members of the royal family, frequently voicing his opinion on architecture, climate change and the environment. Over the years, he gradually took on more duties as the establishment prepared for a transition and the Queen's health declined, most notably reading the Queen's speech on her behalf to open Parliament for the first time in 2022 the year she celebrated 70 years on the throne. My lords and members of the House of Commons. For the majority of the British public, Queen Elizabeth is the only monarch they've ever known and has remained very popular throughout her decades on the throne. But it's now been confirmed Britain's new king will be known as Charles III. Today the crown passes, as it has done for more than a thousand years, to our new monarch, our new head of state, His Majesty, King Charles III. Charles's reign will mark the beginning of a new era for the royal family, whose reputation has been dented by several scandals, whilst polls have indicated a growing disaffection with the monarchy among the young.